Hey makers, this is Dhruvin and today I am come up with another interesting topic where we will talk about the version history or audit setting in Dataverse table. Now, most of the time when you are working with SharePoint as a data source, you have version history available for you. But how about Dataverse? In Dataverse table, let's say if I am making any changes or if any user is making update, how to check the version? or audit history for that specific record. So Dataverse comes up with the native capability of auditing feature for your Dataverse table. So let's explore this in detail. So over here, I have one Dataverse table called training registration. And you can see that I have different columns over here. Now, in order to enable the audit setting, we need to enable one tenant wide feature. So let's see how to do that. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me. So over here, first of all, you need to click on setting gear and click on the admin center. That will open up this screen. Select the environment for which you want to apply this setting. So I want to apply this for my default setting. So I'm selecting this. Now over here, you need to click on the setting gear again. And you can see an option for audit and logs. Just click on that. Click on the audit setting from here. And over here, there is an option called start auditing. Just select that and save your changes. I already saved these changes. So it is showing me the disabled save button over here. But in your case, you need to click on save. And after you apply this change, it will take some time in order to reflect that for your tenant. It will not immediately reflected in your environment. So now let's say once you enable this, after that we need to follow one more step. We need to enable the auditing for your Dataverse table. So now let's go to the Dataverse. And this is my Dataverse table. Now we need to click on the properties from the Dataverse table. That will open up the edit table dialog to you. You need to click on the advanced option. Once you click there, you can see the different option. And here there is an option that audit changes to its data. Make sure that this option is turned on and just click on save button after that, which means that you are enabling auditing for this specific table. Now let's see how to check audit history. So over here, first of all, let's me make couple of changes over here. So let's say here I have added couple of students name. So let me just change the students name like this. I'm changing the students name. I'm just adding last name over here. And let's say I'm changing one of the company as well, which is Power Platform Trainings. All right. So I make this updates. All the changes are saved. Now I want to see the history. What was the existing value for that? We need to create model driven app to see the history. First of all that just go to the create button, click on blank app and create one model driven app. So you just need to click on blank app based on the dataverse and just provide a name as sample log history. Click on create. So this has been created. Click on add page. And now let's add that table. So let's search here for the table training. I just added this training registration table and we are all done. So you can clearly see this thing. Now publish this app and click on play button from here. So this will open your model driven app like this. Now you just need to see the changes per record. So let's say I want to see what are the changes over here into this record. So what I did here is I click on this record, simply click on related and you will see an option audit history. Just click on that and it will show you the record specific history over here. So you can see that first it has enabled this audit history. After that, the name is changed by Dhruvin because I have logged in with my user. 
what was the old value which was bhavyan and what was the new value which is bhavyan sha so it is being updated like this similar way you can check the history for the similar record like just click on related history so you can see that uh, over here the college value is also updated the name is also updated so it is capturing each individual thing to you over here into your audit history so this is the quickest way to check the version history for your record isn't this technique cool if so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel hope this video helps you and values your time are you looking for any training or consultation don't worry my website link is here you can check the upcoming training and if you are looking for consultation feel free to drop a message to me over there also don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram with this this is through win signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye